Governor Cuomo's proposed $140 billion budget this week. Well, today is Tuesday, March 25th. The budget is due before the stroke of midnight on March 31st. That means lawmakers have six days to meet the deadline for an on-time budget. There are some sticking points in this year's budget so far, including how to pay for universal pre-K. Lawmakers are also considering the role charter schools should play in the state educational system. And both sides are also deciding what to do about property tax relief. Our Matt Markham breaks down the day's developments from the Capitol. New York's budget has been on time the last three years. Timing is almost everything less than one week away from the deadline. Make sure we stay within our, our spending levels and see, make sure education is protected. Leaders of both houses of the legislature emerged from closed door talks with optimism, but little concrete information. Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver said something should be derived from his standing together with Senate Republican leader Dean Skelos. Everything's being discussed. So Everything's being discussed. We all draw no lines in the sand. Everything's being discussed. <laughs> Among the likely topics, funding for pre-K. More of our schools are going to be looking at cutting kindergarten because we're not adequately funding K through 12. So I support universal pre-K, but let's make sure we're supporting K through 12 too. Senator Cecilia Ketchik said she supports lower property taxes, but not to the point of threatening school funding. Assemblyman Jim Tedisco says any proposal for tax relief is significant, so long as municipalities strongly consider consolidation. You've got to take some of the mandates off of local municipalities, you know, cities, towns, and villages, if you're going to ask them to freeze uh, their tax structure, because that's a tremendous burden. Governor Cuomo's proposal calls for $1 billion in tax relief with the hook that local governments share services with others. 225 elected officials across the state support his plan, among them the mayor of Glens Falls, the town supervisor of Clifton Park, and a councilwoman from Troy. The new fiscal year begins April 1st. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News, Albany.